celebrating black culture in the arts and crafts is an open playlist with host Cindy at Z9 Designs and the co-host Ray at One Way Designs 238. I am Cindy and I love to bring you new creative and unique home decor that is Afrocentric. Ray has a great channel where he makes elegant and beautiful tablescapes, glam centerpieces, and thrift flips. Check out both channels and subscribe, like, save, and comment. The links to our channels is in the description box below. Also, make sure you check out the other wonderful collaborators. The link to the playlist is also listed below. So DIY number one is a juju hat. These are originally from Cameroon and are worn by royal dancers doing ceremonial dances for their tribal chiefs and royal families. They are created with feathers from wild birds, chickens, and or fowl. Often the feathers are dyed in beautiful colors. These headdresses are still being made and you can spend up to $500 to obtain one, and I have made three. The supplies needed include feathers from Amazon, hot glue, cardboard in 10, 8, and 6 inch rounds, cowrie cells, scallop shells, measuring device, paper pattern and or dinner and salad plate. You can use those for making the circles. Scissors or X-Acto knife. The first thing you want to do is make a pattern out of paper and salad and dinner plate for the three sizes. Finally, trace it onto some foam board or cardboard. Find the middle and cut to that point. Then slightly fold over and use hot glue to adhere together. However, the results are similar to other juju hats that do not have a cone shape. So next you want to measure at 2 inches, 4 inches, and 6 inches. Now it is time to put the feathers on. I started at the 2 inch mark and began gluing until the end of the first row. Then I hot glued the feathers at the 4 inch mark until the end of that row. Now make sure you stagger the feathers so that it looks full because if you see any areas that look a little skimpy, then you can add more feathers so that it will look more full. Then lastly, glue the feathers at the six inch mark until the end. Because it is difficult to put the feathers in another circle because you have such a small area, you can cut a couple of feathers because they're already attached to fabric and put them around the circle until it is full. In addition, the center needs some smaller feathers to fill in the center. Now in the center, you want to put a scallop shell in the center and use cowrie shells to put in a circle. So you need six cowrie shells for the six inch round and seven for the eight inch juju hat. Now for the 10 inch juju hat, well, you just have to wait and see what it looks like in the end. These are so beautiful and neutral, and tell me what you think. DIY number two, an Afrocentric magnifying glass. Now, I don't know about you, but it does not hurt to have a magnifying glass in your home decor because it seems as if writing is so small nowadays, or maybe they don't want you to read the fine print. Anyway, the supplies needed include a thrifted magnifying glass, 
six wood beads and these beads you need to try them out to make sure that they are going to fit the rod for the magnifying glass. You need some black acrylic paint and some deco color in white, black, and uh, they also come in gold and silver, but I only use the black and white. And these are acrylic thin line paint markers. And then I picked up an elephant from Dollar Tree. And that's it, folks. I painted the beads with black acrylic paint. After they were dry, I began painting them with the white acrylic thin line paint marker. I painted each one differently, and each of the symbols mean things such as strength, freedom, or wealth. After they were dry, I began painting different symbols on each one, some with circles, dots, zigzag, X's, arrows with dots, and circles with dots, and some that look like a comb. Now, originally you may see some that I had painted I didn't like, so I, oh, it's no problem. You just paint the bead black again and start over. When that was completed, I began threading the beads onto the stem of the magnifying glass. And I staggered the beads so that I thought that this, they would look beautiful when they were completely put on. And then I twisted the end to keep the beads intact. I styled it by painting a Dollar Tree elephant black except for the tusk and placed it on some books with the magnifying glass. This is a beautiful home decor piece to enjoy for years to come. Let me know what you think about this one. DIY number three. A hanging five stick mobile is usually made in Tanzania using glass beads. It traditionally has been used by the Maasai since the 19th century. The decorative hanging mobiles have beautifully minimalistic white and black design with a touch of metallic elegance. I made mine a bit differently because the others are made from beads and that would be a very intensive labor of love, but very beautiful. Now, I was inspired by 54 Kibo, which is in a contemporary African design online shop where the things that they have from the shop are from Egypt, Ghana, Kenya, Morocco, Nigeria, and Senegal. The supplies needed for this project include one doll, 5 8 by 36, painter's tape, black acrylic paint, white acrylic paint, air dried clay, black leather string, deco color in black and white, this is acrylic fine line paint marker, saw, and a hand sander. I cut five pieces of the rod in different lengths. The rods are 10, 3.5, 6, and two of them at 8.5 inches. I painted each rod with white acrylic paint, but left the ends natural wood. And basically you have to use painter's tape so that the raw edges of the rod are not painted white. So then it is time to wrap off the other areas with painter's tape. And what I did was painted specific areas black. Now, I did not have a rhyme or reason which areas I painted black. I just wanted to make sure it was aesthetically pleasing to my eye. I started out painting the areas brown. I thought, oh, you know, brown will look really good and I have a lot of beiges in my home, but it just did not stand out like the black acrylic paint. And because I was not using beads, it was important for the appearance to look like beading or, you know, just really intense, I should say. After that was done, I drilled an opening in the middle of each rod to thread the black leather covered string through. I used some air dry clay and I rolled to flatten it and used a round object to make a circle and then I use a bottle cap 
to make the opening in the center. And the next day, when it was dry, I painted it white, but I decided to change it to black to make a bigger impact. Now, my inspiration piece had a gold circle at the end. I mean, it looks beautiful with the beading, but I needed something to make mine stand out. So I ended up painting my circle black. Then I took a white marker and began to draw out the centers and make a pattern. But as you can see, I changed the pattern from what I had previously. And again, you just paint it black again. And I put X's, large X's, and arrows, and it looks fantastic. After that was done, I made a hook at the top and threaded the black leather covered string from top to bottom. And you know, you need the rods to stay on so that you can see the spacing between each one. So I knotted at each space, leaving approximately two to two and a half inches between each rod. Lastly, I hooked the ring on the end and hung it up. This can be hung in a baby's room or underneath a picture. This is so nice. I just love this. You could even hang it outside in the summertime if you want to. Let me know what you think. The last DIY is a mud cloth in a frame. The supplies needed, a piece of mud cloth from Little House Goods, that's from Etsy, and a black frame with a glass. This frame is 16 by 20, and I think I probably paid maybe $5 for it. I purchased a frame from Joanne Fabrics when they were moving. They were moving from one part of the town to the other. It was 90% off, so I did very well. I removed the insides and cleaned the glass. I put the mat back and placed the mud cloth and put the backing on and hung it on the wall by my Chase Lounge. And all you have to do is make sure it is centered. And it looks so good. Z9 Design family, thanks so much for watching. And I appreciate your kind comments. And I love you all. Be sure to subscribe, like, save, and comment. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And remember, no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can also be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart than its opposite. And this is from Nelson Mandela. Happy Black History Month. See you later. Bye-bye.